I've always been a fan over the last two years now of the target forward or target man um, position and quite a lot of times my tactics revolve around having one in the team. So this is a tactic now that I use in my Kelty Heart save. You can watch that stream on uh, Mondays, Thursdays and Fridays. That's when I obviously I'm on Twitch. So hopefully I'll see you there. There's a link in the description if you want to go over there and follow me so you don't miss me. And uh, yeah, it's done pretty well for my, my team. So I did a mass tactics test using the same tactic. I changed a few things obviously to suit the more variety of teams rather than just my Kelty heart save and it's done pretty good. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. So here is the jam. I've called it the Jambo three. I don't know why I think it's because the Kelty hearts nickname is the Jambos All right, same as hearts, but Kelty hearts anyway, Jambo three, because it's three up top three at back. Deep line play, make a box to box, inverted wing backs as well. Uh, it does it does really well for us. All right, we got promoted uh, from League Two using this tactic. We're now in League One. Hopefully, going to be doing all right. But we were beating teams in the Championship when we were, when we were in League Two using this tactic. So hopefully, it does exceptional for you. Obviously, it does a lot better when you've got a target man. My favourite target man in the world so far is Kyle Huddling. That's who I use. Scores about 30, 35 to 40 goals a season. Doing absolutely insane. Hopefully, you have a big target man that you can utilise this tactic with. And um, yeah, so if you can't download it, guys, I'll go through, go through all the instructions. And if you can download it, there will be a link in the description. Head over there. You can download it off FM Scat. So, um, yeah, the team's taking part in the test. Man City, Everton, Wolves, PSG, Strasbourg, West Brom, Bolton, and Newport County. And then the instructions is advance forward left, advance forward right, target forward, big, plus that one is moving to channels. You always want that one because you don't feel so empty in this area if you have the move into channels. They drop back and he sits there, which is nice. Um, box to box midfielder. Deep line playmaker, inverted wing back left, inverted wing back right, ball playing defender left, ball playing defender right, central defender on cover, sweeper keeper on attack, set piece instructions, corners. Now, I don't have a lot of, in my opinion, just get the best corners for you. Because I use a target man, and I've got a big guy who can jump pretty high. That's why I put him on the near post. So defending right and left, and then attacking left and right. Now, if you want to, use the best set pieces that you've got. Um, it, it'll make it even better. My opinion, obviously, my striker centre, which would have been the Kyle Hudlin, is at this post. And that's why he scores a lot of goals, because he's a tall lad. He's a big tree. All right, so, yeah, set pieces, use these ones or use the ones that you've got. Either or, whichever one's the best. Free kicks, defending right and left. And attacking left and right. It's all pretty much routine. Uh, Throw-ins, defending right and left. And attacking left and right. And it's the long throw-ins, guys, because they are back. All right, They haven't been nerfed yet, so they are pretty effective, especially when you've got the big guys in the box. So back to the tactic then. Mentality is positive. Uh, in possession, fairly wide on the attacking width. Play through the centre, because that's what I like playing, all right, through the centre. It doesn't mean that you're not going to use the wings. It just means you start playing through the centre, and then it pulls all of their players to the centre, and you'll, you'll see the space that your inverted wing backs end up getting because right? even though they're inverted they still use the wings and they'll still get the crosses in guys uh play out defense shorter passing directness with extremely high tempo low crosses in the final third work ball into box and play for set pieces you want that if you've got the big guys ladies and gents in transition counter press and counter and then roll out and then out of possession use offside trap much higher line of engagement standard defensive line Defensive width is standard, much more often on the trigger press and prevent short goal key, goalkeeper distribution. Now, for me, if you are thrashing a game, I know your players are going to get tired because you are playing much higher line of engagement. You are playing much more often on the trigger press. If you are winning 3-0, just lower it down. All right, just save the legs. There's no reason you should be pressing. There's no reason you should be engaging that high up if you are winning 3-0. So you can always change it, guys. Um, but yeah, that's the tactic. All right, you've uh, looked at the teams, you've looked at the instructions. Hopefully, it does incredible. It does do incredible. And um, yeah, we'll have a look at all the stats at the end of the season. Right then, welcome back, everyone. So, we're going to get started in the Premier League where we had Man City, Everton, and Wolves, and all three teams did exceptionally well. So, you've got Man City coming first, all right? Everton 
come in second. And uh, Wolves as well come in fifth. It's a shame that they didn't get just one more win. Uh, so they would have obviously toppled Man U, come fourth and got Champions League football. But we can't all win, can we? Uh, but the good thing is, obviously, I said it's a target man tactic. Yeah. So you go on the player stats, top threes, the goals. Calvert-Lewin, target man. All right, 26 goals came second. Raul Jimenez, big lad as well, six foot three. 25 goals came third. Average ratings, you got Dean. All right, Lucas Dean um, coming second on 7.78. Again, he is there with 24 assists. Done really well as the inverted left uh, back on that left-hand side. Uh, Jao Moutinho getting 18 assists as well. Don't get, don't get me wrong. A lot of these assists are going to come from set pieces or corners because they aim for the big target man. Knock in. Done. Job done. Uh, player of the Mac is Lucas Dean again uh, coming first there, getting nine. And uh, yeah, they've done exceptionally well. Obviously, there's quite a lot of cards, mind you. It's a bit, it's a bit foully foully, but you can sort that out if you just change a few instructions. Hopefully, it doesn't interrupt the tactic too much and just uh, stay on feet and not and not just stick foot in. But I like, I'm a bit aggressive in my tactics, so <laughs> yeah, they have done all right to be fair. Man City's competitions then. They only won the English Community Shield. Uh, in the final, they beat Leicester on penalties. Um, see, Man City done well, but they haven't actually got an out-and-out -out target, man. They've got a couple of tallish players, got a couple of tallish strikers, but no one insanely good. All right, no one insanely good. And, and yeah, they've done well to finish first. Uh, it would have been even better if they finished first and had a massive target, man, banging in loads of goals. Uh, so we'll go straight to their squad then. Uh, quite a few players getting some decent average ratings. Best player was uh, Kevin De Bruyne. 17 goals, 18 assists. Biggest goal scorers, Torres, 27. Uh, De Bruyne, Sterling, Jesus, uh, Laporte. All right, or Laporte. 12 goals, 14 goals. All right, so set pieces there. Laporte is getting some goals in when they're... And I think Torres. I think Torres was used as the target man. Majority of times... The same with Cole Palmer as well. I think he was there um, being used as a target man as well. Um, but apart from that, yeah, they did all right. So if you're Man City, then get yourself a big £70 million target man. <laughs> you're going to get a load more goals. Uh, so, yeah, they've done pretty well. All right, so we've got the full numbers, guys. There's 128 goals. I've seen better. Uh, 60 conceded. If we go to the data hub, all right, you can see here on the general performance, we're doing pretty well. Goals, expected goals, conceded. All right, you're still above the averages. Uh, don't get me wrong, this is not a nap tactic, so the stats aren't going to be absolutely insane. All right, it's just the way of football that I like playing. If you want to see it, you can watch it on Twitch. Um, but it's pretty nice passing, to be fair. Sometimes it's one touch, sometimes it's a canter, sometimes it's the long ball. All depends on where your players are at the time, but um, it's like a mixture of three different plays in this tactic, and I really enjoy it. And the good thing is about having three strikers is when you do get into that position of attacking, they've only got two centre-backs back at the time and they kind of get mixed up on where to go. And you've always got one man free. And sometimes you feel like it's really easy scoring. Um, but yeah, it's nice football, to be fair. So yeah, not bad uh, Not bad, Man City. To Everton now. Nah. Right, Everton came second. Second for Everton. There's four points above Liverpool. And Calvert-Lewin getting 26 goals right there. Um, let's go to their competitions then. Did the winner? No FA Cup and no Carabao Cup. So we'll go straight to their squad then. Best player was Dean right there with 27 assists. 27 assists. Biggest goal scorers? Calvert-Lewin, guys. 27. Richarlson, 19. And then Rond on there was 17. Biggest creators after Dean. Dean was no one actually got double digits. All right? It was all about him. And that's mainly because I'm guessing he was taking all of the set pieces as well in this test. All right? Full numbers was 96 goals. 50 conceded, guys. All right? Go to the data hub. All right? Last match passes. If you're wondering, if you want to have a look at how that goes. Um, the last game was against Chelsea. And yeah, it seems pretty nice. You can see it's a solid shape. All right, you've got the three at the back. All right, nice passing. It's even passing as well. A little bit on the left-hand side. Obviously, but these are the inverted wingbacks that do get in positions of crossing, of passing through the centre. They are pretty good. And yeah, so nice. It's a, a nice, pretty sight, that, to be fair. Uh, so they did really well. All right, if we go to Wolves as well, All right, another team with a target man, Jimenez. All right, he's a big lad. All right, he's six foot three, decent heading, got quite a lot of goals because he was played as the target forward. I said it's a target forward tactic. Um, 
Yeah, so let's have a look at their competitions then. Uh, they didn't win anything either. Go straight to the squad. Best player was Moutinho. Right, three goals, 20 assists. Biggest goal scorer is Jimenez, 26. And then Hechan, Traore, 17 and 12. Biggest creators in the team, Moutinho, Neves and Traore, 20, 11 and 9. Right there, data hub. All right, so again, it's not absolutely fantastic. Well, it's pretty nice to watch if you enjoy having the big forward. Um, again, last match passes, pretty similar. A little bit close here for my liking, as well as these two. Um, but some players obviously have different preferred moves. It can vary a little bit. But you can see where the, you were not heavily going one way. Right, we're pretty much varied. And um, yeah, it's nice, a nice image. So yeah, done pretty well in the Premier League. All right, PSG and Strasbourg. Let's have a look in League One. So PSG... They're always going to come first. All right, they are exceptional in itself, so I don't think it really matters what tactic you put in. Um, but again, Strasbourg are a mid-table team, and it's decent finishing for them, fifth place. All right, But if we look at the player stats, it's Ajorke. Ajork. <laughs> That's how you pronounce that, I'm pretty sure. Um, that scored 38 goals. 38 goals because he is the target man. He is a big guy, six foot six, jumping, reach, heading, finishing, perfect for this tactic, and they played really, really well. Uh, average ratings there: you got a Jork again, Ramos and uh, Leonard, uh, seven point nine one seven eight six seven assists. All right, Strasbourg's there again. So Strasbourg actually really enjoyed this tactic more than PSG. I know PSG won won the league, but they're always going to win the league. Strasbourg got quite a lot of players in the top threes. A nice one. Competitions for PSG then. So they won the European Champions Cup, beat Inter in the final. They won the French Cup. They won the Trophy City Champions. And they won the league. All right, so they got the quadruple, guys. So that's fantastic to see. Squad, nice. Quad. <laughs> Look at all that. A lot of the players getting some decent ratings. Ramos, guys, 20 goals. 20 goals for Ramos. That's insane. That's insane. Anyway, best player was Ramos, 20 goals, 3 assists. Biggest goal scorer, uh, Mbappe with 37. You've got Cardi there, 33. Messi, 21. Ramos, 20. Uh, so, uh, yeah, even though I've got the target man on the near post, I've actually got the centre-back with him as well. So, if you've ever seen the set pieces, I'm guessing you have, you would see that it normally comes to the point where they're both there. And it's kind of like a, a battle on who gets the header. And it looks like because... PSG don't have that dedicated target man striker. Ramos was always in the position to get the headers. Right, if obviously uh, PSG did have that six foot four striker in that role and in that position on the tactics and on the set pieces, then he would have got more headers. But it's because Ramos was obviously more dominant than anyone else that they've got in the air. And there we go, 20 goals for him. All right, biggest assist, quite a lot of players are jumping in on there. Messi, 18. You've got Verratti there, 16. Mbappe, 15. Rafina, Icardi. All right, nice, nice. Full numbers, guys, is 186 goals and 40 conceded. Data Hub, once more, this normally is domination. It's PSG, always the same with PSG. Doing really, really well. But uh, yeah, Strasbourg, did insane, like I said. Jork, right there, target man. Got a lot of goals. If we go to their competitions, they didn't win out because, well, PSG won everything. Uh, so straight to the team. All right, a lot of players getting some decent ratings again. York getting some nice ratings there. Played an eight overall with 46 goals, 12 assists. After him, you got Diallo Lunt with 23 goals. Biggest creators, 20, 14, 13. So again, a lot of teams, a lot of players um, chipping in with creating goals right there. Data Hub, if we go here. Um, conceded per game, all right, you're conceding a little bit much. And this is probably where, because it's a holiday simulation, you can't really control the games. If it was me and I'm winning 2-0, 3-0, something like that, you're coming into about 75 minutes, then you start dropping off. You start not pressing as much, keeping your players back, maybe be more disciplined, all right, start connecting the passes. You probably waste time. Go defensive, go cautious, anything like that. All those can help you save a game. All right, so little tips like that. You don't just use the tactic for 90 minutes. You've got to change it a little bit. So, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Uh, and then checking over, obviously, the lower league teams, West Brom in the championship came first. Nice one. A couple of players in the top threes as well. Uh, we go to Bolton in League One, and unfortunately, <laughs> they finished below expectation. They finished 14th. So it's not all... Uh, 
Roses and Sunshine, unfortunately for everyone. So, yeah, that one didn't do great. If we go down another league to Newport County, they came first. All right, and again, you got some players there in the top threes. Fisher doing really well, but Fisher is six foot three. All right, he's a target man. Done pretty well. Timmy Abraham also did pretty well, six foot one. So, and is pretty quick as well. So, he's, he's a really good striker for that league, isn't he? So, yeah, it's really good. All right, I, I enjoy this tactic. I'm still playing with it right now. So, obviously. There might be a little bit of changes here and there for, for yourselves just to match your team. But on a general basis, the test wasn't too bad. I don't think it's too bad. I'm enjoying the play style and hopefully you do as well. All right, so download it in the description, guys. Don't forget to give me a subscribe, a thumbs up and comment to the video as well if you are using it and hopefully it does well for you. If it doesn't, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> but it does well for me, so hopefully it will do well for you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the future, guys. I'm Tucker Jobs. Bye.